Is this my room? I've never seen anything like it. And what's that note on the mirror? A map of the island. This will help me get around. I'd love to just watch the fish, but I'd better work on my article. Time to look over that file on Mr. Navarro. It's in my suitcase. Reading the file in bed would be more comfortable. Let's see what I've got so far. A reunion at Stanford University. There's Ruben with Jack's trainer and Janet Lim. They seem to be very close. Rubens shaking hands with Admiral Samuel Wilkinson. Is he somehow involved with the military? Navarro Industries has done a lot for renewable energy. And pharma too. Hmm. How to decipher the enigma of Ruben Navarro? Did somebody knock? Is there someone at my door? Miss Page, finally. Do you always keep people waiting in such dreadful weather? Sorry, I dozed off. The jet lag finally got to me. Sure. Flying the luxurious Navarro Airlines must have been dreadful. Ruben wanted to see you in the parlor. I assume it's about your article. If you're tempted to take advantage of the accident, I strongly advise against it. Not at all. I'm so sorry about Lucas. He seemed like a nice man. And that was the problem, wasn't it? Security chiefs aren't meant to be nice. He was one of Ruben's strays. Well, you ought to know. Didn't Lucas have a family? 
Back in Lithuania, yes. I feel bad for them. Now please excuse me. Not everyone can afford to stand around chatting all day. Don't keep Mr. Navarro waiting, Miss Page. Hugh looks miserable. I could talk to him later. Mr. Navarro, I heard you were looking for me. Miss Page, glad you could join. And please, call me Reuben. Only if you call me Carla. It's a deal, Carla. I'm sorry your arrival was marred by this tragedy. Lucas will be missed dearly. Good friends are hard to come by. Ms. Frost said you wanted to discuss the article? Did I mention? that Lucas was a devoted reader of yours. We have a household subscription to Peak Life. Well, I'm flattered. Your modesty is delightful. Reminds me of someone dear to me. Now, tell me something, Carla Page. Do you play the piano? Actually, I've been trying to learn the major scales. Wonderful. Knowledge is key to everything. It's the only way we'll survive as a species. Over the years, humanity has lost so much knowledge. The Library of Alexandria. It grieves me to think of it. Not to mention Constantinople. I can only hope that our generation learned enough to not let history repeat itself. Now have a seat. I'll show you a song I've been working on. It's only a few notes so far. May I take a quick photo for my article first? Be my guest. Thank you. That will make a captivating cover photo. My pleasure, Miss Page. Now, let's tickle the ivories, shall we? Okay, let's listen and repeat the notes. Oops, that's not the right sequence. This piano makes everyone sound like a virtuoso. Ruben, there's something you should see. Can it wait? I'm talking to Carla. I'm afraid not. We've lost our security chief, you might recall. Right then. In case you ever feel like practicing that melody. That's wonderful, Mr. Navarro. Thank you. Hey now, it's Reuben, remember? 
I'll see you at dinner. What a memento. A tune composed by Ruben Navarro himself. I feel bad that I left Q mourning in the patio. I'd better get back. This place won't be the same without Lucas. My deepest sympathies to you, Q. Thank you, Miss Page. I still can't believe he just left us like that. Did Lucas ever get on anyone's bad side? I doubt it, senorita. As Mr. Navarro's security guard, he always stayed diplomatic and cool. But uh, keeping an eye on so many guests must have been difficult. Now Mr. Navarro has asked me to commemorate Lucas, but I have no idea how. What's your fondest memory of him? When he wasn't watching Mr. Navarro's back, Lucas would play the harmonica. He said those tunes reminded him of home, the rolling fields of Lithuania. If I had the harmonica now, I'd craft a little memorial before dinner. Leave it to me. I think it could be in the parlor. Oh, gracias, Miss Page. In the meantime, I'll take care of the rest. A harmonica. I bet there's one in Ruben's parlor. I need to find a vinyl record to play it. Gracias. You have a good heart, Miss Page. De nada. Just call me Carla. I hope you find peace. I hope Lucas finds it too. Miss Saint Germain. Oh, you caught me. Nasty habit, I know. I smoke more when I'm stressed. Oh, when people die right outside my guest room. Are you my neighbor? We, oui. I stay here in the Gothic suite. It's so exquisite and dramatic. A bit like me, I suppose. This is my fourth time on Esperanza. It's even featured in my upcoming memoir. How did you and Mr. Navarro meet? Well, if I recall correctly, our first conversation happened at a party hosted by a mutual friend. After that, we kept running into each other at all sorts of events. And somehow, over time, we've grown close. I dare say we even became friends. Sounds like my relationship with my cat. Oh, I miss my petite belle. She's staying at the poshest kitty hotel in Paris, and I'm her waiting servant. Oh, I should powder my nose before dinner. An occasion is still an occasion, no matter how grim. Sure. Nice talking to you, Miss Saint Germain. Margot's right. I should get ready for the dinner party. Phew, I 
I'm unpacked and ready for Ruben's dinner party. All that's left is to put on my lucky necklace. Where was it? I remember taking the necklace out. Damn, I need something to fix that chain. I need to find a tool elsewhere. Hmm, maybe I can fix my necklace with these pliers. Worked like a charm. Okay, I should use the mirror to put this on. And I'm ready. No pressure. I'll just go and meet some other big names in the dining room. I suppose it's rude, but I brought my phone to dinner. Look, that's my little Belle. Oh, she really is a beauty. If only Portia wasn't allergic, I'd take this little fluff ball to Esperanza. She's no trouble at all. Didn't you put her up in that five-star cat house? She's probably eating lobster right now. Cat house? Really, Jax? Dear guests, Mrs. Bird is taking Lucas's death hard, yet she's soldiering on and her dinner is worth the wait. Meanwhile, please mingle and enjoy the refreshments. Well, here's my chance to get a scoop on some guests. Oh, hello. You must be Carla. I'm Janet Lim. Oh my gosh, the author? I love your novels. I have a gazillion notes. Yikes, listen to me gush. It's okay. What happened to Ruben's security man though? Terrible, right? I can't bear the sight of blood. And you? I try to pull myself together, that's all. It makes me so anxious, you know? Many things do. It's always been like that. My mom calls me a worrywart, but... It's okay. I feel you. It's just... It's unlikely that a security guard could just trip and fall, you know? I don't quite follow you, Miss Lim. I wonder if somebody might have pushed Lucas, or worse. Wait, are you saying there's been foul play? I, oh, my heart's racing again. Where's, where's my inhaler? I just had it. <coughs> Hold on, Janet. It must be around here somewhere.
Thank you, Carla. I... I just need a moment. Uh, we've howdied, but ain't shaking hands yet. Jackson Trainer. You can call me Jax. Everybody does. I'm Carla Page. I hope you don't mind, but I'm crazy about your villain character in 11 hours. Hey, spoilers. I'm just kidding. I'm always happy to meet a fan, except when I'm hiding out at the ranch. So, uh, you're not one of the usual suspects. You know Reuben well? Only from urban legends and articles online. Actually, I'm planning to publish one myself. Well, that's gonna be a page oneer. I wonder what the old boy's thinking. I hope you're not planning to dig up dirt on Reuben. He's good people. Oh, of course not. In fact, I was hoping you could tell me some Stanford stories. Maybe later, darling. Now is not the time. Hello again. I'm Catherine Bennett. We didn't get properly acquainted on the veranda. Dr. Cat, of course. My little cousin watches your show every week. I'm Carla Page. Pleasure to meet you. Glad to hear the kids are into astrophysics these days. I think it's our duty to show them the wonders of the universe. Are you a friend of Ruben's? Sure. We go back a long way. I mean, we met today at the parlor. Had you met Lucas before? Indeed. He was quiet, but if you got him talking, you could see he was a bright young man. I'll miss our conversations. As head of security, Lucas must have been close to Mr. Navarro. But do you think they were friends? From what I saw, they shared mutual trust and respect. And isn't that the key to any friendship? Mrs. Bird will be serving the main course shortly. Take your seats, everyone. I apologize for the delay. Dinner is ready, but I'm afraid it's nothing too special. I smell garlic. What a treat. Sit down and eat with us, Mrs. Bird. Oh, I can't eat a single bite. Friends, I couldn't ask for better company to dine with. This visit will be your most memorable, I promise. Oh, yeah? Why is that? Reuben, I, I don't... But first, let's raise a toast to Lucas Matonis, my friend and security chief. You always had my back. I wish I could have had yours. Godspeed, Lucas. That was beautiful, Reuben. Of course, you know there's nothing you could have done. Margot's right, Reuben. And he doesn't admit that often, do you, Sam? Not if I can avoid it, no. You like to party, Portia? I know there's good stuff in that wine cellar. Call me Miss Frost. As for your proposition, no thank you. You're an attractive package, Mr. Wolf, but quite an empty one. Oh, Freddy, she's got your number, pal. Jax, could you not? What? Settle down, Jay. I'm just talking to my friends. Let's all just sit back tonight. There's a lot I'd like to show you this weekend. Reuben, we need to talk privately. The sooner the better. Of course, Admiral. We'll have lunch in my study room, and I'll be happy to... Dear God! He's breathing, but his pulse is weak. Oh, mon Dieu! Ruben! What has happened to you? Check his airway, Sam. It's clear. I don't think he choked. Does he have a heart condition? Not Ruben. He's as healthy as a whole team of horses. We all know how hard Reuben works. It might just be stress. 
We need to get Reuben into bed so I can run some tests. I thought you weren't that kind of doctor. Not exactly. I haven't practiced in years, but I do have a medical degree. Well, then stop talking and help him! <laughs> 